What's going on everybody? It's Andy. She blinded me with refractors. Today's video, I've got a lot of uh, a lot of new subscribers over the last month or two. So what I wanted to do today is uh, just kind of showcase, I guess you could call it like a little bit of a rummage video, just kind of showcase some of the uh, stuff that maybe I've, I've shown in the past and there will be a few things in here that maybe I haven't shown but this will kind of maybe kind of get everybody caught up on you know what kind of stuff that uh, what kind of stuff that I like to collect and maybe give you guys an idea of what kind of stuff you might see in the future videos so let's go ahead and get started here first thing I'll show is this Pete Alonzo auto if I can get it to focus here there we go beautiful looking card and I'm gonna try to like uh, give some of the some of the values as we go along here maybe like what I paid what it you know might bring if I were to sell it this card fortunately enough as you can see there it's numbered 8 of 50 uh, this card was given away at the national this this year if you attended the uh, tops Q&A so you know I actually didn't have to pay anything for this car just uh, had to show up and I think these the last one of these that I saw sold on eBay I think it was that somebody had one graded a 10 I think it brought like 350 that was probably a couple of weeks ago and I think raw like this I've seen them sell from uh, anywhere from 220 to 250 uh, next up <clears throat> this card I haven't shown yet because I actually just pulled this out of a pack recently this is the uh, 2019 heritage high number Ronald Acuna auto um, anybody that's been following baseball and sports cards in general knows that Acuna has been just crazy hot lately and I think this card I think I was just looking earlier one of these sold yesterday at Raw somebody hit the buy it now for I think four hundred nine dollars so that's a that was a nice pull I just bought a single box from my local card shop pulled that uh, this next card, this is another Acuna, and I'm very happy to to own this card. Sorry if you guys can see me in the reflection there. This is the uh, 2017 Bowman. This is his first prospect card. This is the orange refractor, numbered to 25. <clears throat> I bought this card last month. There you can see it's four of twenty-five. <clears throat> Excuse me. I, I bought this card last month and I paid uh, fifteen hundred and fifty-five for it. Um, as far as what it would sell for now, I'm not really sure. I'm gonna hold on to it, but um, it would it would be more than that. I can pretty uh, safely say. But, you know, he's he's young, and, you know, with these young guys, I mean, obviously I have a lot of faith in him or I wouldn't have, you know, bought the card, but you never know. These guys could falter at any moment. You never know. So we'll see what happens with that card going forward. Next up, focus here, Willie. We've got 52 tops. Willie Mays in a two. Thought I had it focused there for a second. This card I actually purchased uh, at last year's national, and I think I gave I gave a thousand dollars for it. It's a. Uh, it's a two, but it's uh, a really nice looking two. There, the back focus. So we'll see if we can get the front to focus here. I just really love the uh, 
the centering on this card. And I think uh, I think this one would probably sell for I would guess I don't know 13, 1400, maybe 15. But and again, that's another uh, another card that I think is probably there we go probably going to continue to uh, to go up. So I'll be holding on to uh, Mr. Mays. Continuing with the uh, vintage Hall of Famer trend rookies here, we've got the 54 tops, Hank Aaron in a four. Just a beautiful looking card. And I think, let's see, I bought this card probably about six months ago, I would say. I think I paid. 2000 so I definitely uh, you know wish I would have got this card sooner but I am happy to to have this card and uh, I really wanted a nicely centered example and this one really fit the bill the corners are a little bit rough but good registration on a lot of uh, a lot of the ones I looked at, you would actually see like a little print defect here on his face. So you know it's a it's a pretty clean copy. So happy to happy to have that one. And next up, going a little bit of a Russell Westbrook run here, being my favorite player, even though he's not with us anymore. This is the 2008 Topps Chrome. This is the base uh, in a 10. I was able to pick this one up at the National this year. I wasn't really looking necessarily for this card, but just happened to stumble upon it. And, uh, you know, I got this card for a really good price. I paid $80 for it. Uh, they usually sell for around 200 So I couldn't pass it up for that price, even though I wasn't really looking for one. This is probably one of my favorite cards. Uh, this is the uh, base refractor from the 2008 Topps Chrome. This is his rookie refractor. Very, very condition sensitive card. Very tough to find centered. There's only four PSA 10s of this card. I've seen two of the other ones. And even though they are graded 10s, they're, they're not centered just nearly as well as this one is um, I actually bought this card let's see maybe three years ago and when I bought it it was graded a BGS 9.5 and so I sent it into PSA for a crossover and I was fortunate enough to get the 10 at the time this was the first PSA 10 of this particular card and I paid 850 for it at the time, which a lot of people probably thought that was a pretty crazy price. Uh, I don't think one had ever sold for that much before. Um, and I don't really know exactly what that card would sell for right now. I do know um, that, oh, probably about seven or eight months ago I had somebody reach out to me and they offered me three thousand for it and I really didn't want to didn't really want to sell it so I held on to it I would say it's probably if I were to sell it right now I would guess um, maybe 22 to 2500 so if I really wanted to uh, sell it I probably missed missed the boat on that but you know, he's my favorite player, so I have no problem hanging on to it. This is the uh, 2013 Prism. This is the orange Prism. These are numbered to 60. This one's graded a 10. This is the only 10 of this card. I was able to pick this card up at the National earlier this year. I think I gave... either I can't remember if it was either 175 or... 200 
for this card. And I think that's probably about the right price. Maybe maybe even overpaid for it, but I really wanted it. It's numbered 51 of 60. Like I said, I'm I'm a Westbrook collector, so uh, you know, I was going to pick it up. This is a uh, this is a good one here. This is the gold prism, same as that the orange 2013. Uh, this one is also the only 10. This is actually the only one that PSA has graded. And this one, as you can see there, is numbered 2 of 10. Um, I got a really good deal on this one. I paid 300 and it was, it was already graded. I just got this maybe five months ago, something like that. But, I mean, if I were to sell this card, I would, I don't know, I would guess at least 600 maybe more. Uh, the next two cards I'll show are the 2009 Topps Chrome Gold Refractors. I've got one is an 8, one is a 10. I bought these together. Uh, as a pair, they were um, the ten was actually a raw a Beckett raw card review nine five, and the eight was raw. But I bought them from the same seller. He had two of them. I paid three hundred for the pair. Very happy with that. Um, once again, not not really sure on the price of these because they really don't sell very often. I think, and especially as a ten, I believe there's two tens counting this one um, and they are numbered to 50 that one's 9 of 50 and then this one is 30, 35 of 50 um, I don't know the value guys honestly like I would venture to say this one is the 10 is worth more than I paid for the pair but you know, not really looking to sell them, so I don't really know for sure on that. Uh, this is the last Westbrook card I'm going to show, and this is the uh, 2017 Panini Revolution. This is the Showstoppers Galactic. Let's see if we can get him to focus. There, there we go. Uh, this one, I think there's three PSA tens, and on these Galactic cards, the uh, the print, they're not numbered, but the print run is estimated to be somewhere between 10 to 15 of each card. Um, there's three tens of this one. I bought this one maybe, I don't know, six or seven months ago. I think I paid like 265 for it, which I think is fair. Like, I don't, I mean, it was an auction, so I don't, you know, I don't necessarily think that I got a steal by any means, but, you know, I really wanted the card and happy to pay that uh, the last couple things I'm going to show you are actually some unopened products so this is an interesting one here this is a uh, 2013 prism basketball blaster box I was able to pick this up a couple of months ago on eBay this was listed along with like two other like random baseball blaster boxes it had an opening bid of fifty dollars i watched it for a couple of days and i was like oh you know surely you know this thing's gonna go up but needless to say i was able to pick it up for the opening bid of fifty dollars which i was obviously thrilled with uh these blaster boxes from this year they typically bring 250 to 300 um, you know this is the the Giannis rookie year and you can get the the green and blues out of these so that's that's pretty cool um, I do collect a little bit of unopened stuff as as you will see here so let me put this up here this is the next item we're gonna show here and this is a 2015-16 Panini Revolution basketball. This is a hobby case. 
Um, the way Revolution Basketball works, there's like two there's like two inner cases in here, and each one of those has eight boxes. So essentially, you have two mini cases in here. So sixteen boxes total. Um, for those of you not familiar with with Panini Revolution, that's you know that's where you can get the Galactics. They come out of Revolution. So that's that's really kind of the hits that you're after. This is the first year they made Revolution. Um, I think these are going to be pretty big one day. It may be a long time down the road, um, but we'll see. So I picked up a couple of cases of these, I don't know, maybe a couple of months back. I got them from Blowout Cards. I paid $1,000 a case. Um, I picked up two cases for myself and then also picked up two cases for my brother. He wanted a couple of them as well. So, but yeah, it's a 15, 16 is a pretty good rookie year. You've got Carl Anthony Towns, you got Devin Booker, you got, uh, Porzingis, you got the Joker, but really the thing that, uh, I think is going to make these good long-term is the Galactics. So... We'll hold on to these and uh, we'll see what they do down the road. All right, so only two more items to show here. All right, so this one, some of you have seen this before. Obviously newer people probably haven't. What we've got here is a 2006 Bowman Draft baseball sealed case. A uh, sealed case of these has 10 boxes in the case. This is the uh, Clayton Kershaw rookie year. Um, I was able to get this case for a good price. I got it for $1,000. I think the last the last box that I saw that sold, I was checking earlier today. Just curiosity got me in. I think the last single box sold for $125. But I'll tell you, the, one of the reasons that I like to get sealed cases rather than just you know a bunch of random loose boxes i feel that a lot of times um and that's going to come into play big time with this last case that i'll show you here in a second a lot of times um you know like let's say somebody starts opening one of these cases right and they pulled the kershaw they're like well there's probably not going to be two kershaws in the case so then they're just going to go ahead and they're going to sell those individual boxes just as single boxes and I don't know. I'm just not, I'm not a big fan of, uh, of buying like loose boxes because I just feel that that happens a lot. And with, uh, Kershaw, I know like the last orange refractor auto of his out of this product, I think it was a, it was a BGS nine five and it sold like maybe a couple of months ago, but it sold for $19,000. So, uh, this is a, a very high risk, high reward product as really Kershaw is basically the only guy in there that you would really want to pull unless, and this is another thing with this case, unless you could pull the mythical Evan Longoria Super Fractor Auto. So if anybody doesn't know the, the uh, you know, the story behind that card, go look it up. It's kind of like a... Uh, it's kind of like a, a treasure in itself. So the last case we've got here, and this is uh, by far the most expensive item that I currently have in my collection. And what we've got here is the 2005 Playoff Contenders Football Factory Sealed Case. So, I was able to pick this case up um, at last year's National, and I got a really good price on this. I ended up paying $3,300 for the case. I immediately took it over to Baseball Card Exchange um, because I'd, I'd flown to the show, so I wasn't going to be able to, you know, take this back with me anyways on the plane. It's pretty heavy and a little bulky wasn't gonna fit so I was like well I'll just um, you know have have the guys at baseball card exchange take it back with them 
and they can you know wrap it authenticated all that good stuff and then they can just ship it back to me because I was gonna have to ship it back anyway but anyways this uh, 2005 is um, obviously the year of Aaron Rodgers rookies and a PSA 10 of Aaron Rodgers I think the last one sold the other day for I think it was a little over eight thousand dollars they have sold last I think last year they were selling for as high as like 13 maybe so uh, it's a, it's kind of been a, a little bit of a volatile card but the great thing about sealed wax sealed product in general is there's always gonna be like as with single cards the population of the card as more and more get graded is gonna go up but as sealed product gets opened the population of it obviously can only go down so I don't know I mean I'm not I'm not saying this is the only case of this out there but there's certainly not many I think after I bought this one I did see one sell on eBay maybe like four or five months after that and it sold I think for like five thousand at the time but anyways like you come to the current day pricing on this uh, the last single box that I saw sell and it was a buy it now or best offer it somebody paid 700 for just like a single loose box and if you go on eBay and you can look around and see like most of the there's one there's one single box on there for like seven hundred and sixty dollars the rest of them are priced at like a thousand dollars there's maybe four or five loose boxes which like I said with the with the 2006 Bowman draft baseball case uh, this is a product where there's really only one huge guy that you're looking for and that's Aaron Rodgers so uh, I would be very skeptical of buying any loose boxes so obviously I put um, you know a huge premium on the sealed case uh, you know that you're getting the entire case nobody like pulled an Aaron Rodgers and then just sold the rest of the boxes so but I I mean the just just if you price this out as just you know loose box prices you've got I mean you've got 12 12 boxes in here so you know you're looking at 8400 but I mean I actually talked with some some people this year at the at the national and kind of showed them some pictures of this and they they think that this case is probably worth around ten thousand dollars so uh, very happy to have it um, you know it's it's kind of odd to have you know the biggest item in your collection to uh, you know basically be just uh, as far as like for for viewing it it's just a you know just a brown box as far as you know if you're just wanting to look at something cool so I, I mean who knows like maybe this will be something that I move somewhere down the line we'll see um, maybe pick up a few singles of you know some other stuff that I would potentially rather have but but for right now I'm, I'm happy to have this um, you know Aaron Rodgers is probably my favorite football player and I was actually looking for his contenders auto at the show that year and I just happened to stumble upon this and um, you know was able to make a deal for it so so anyways that's the uh, that's the rummage today hopefully um, all of my uh, new subscribers that kind of catches everybody up on just some of the stuff that I have some of the stuff that I like and you know I'm just I'm happy to uh, happy to do videos on basically anything that uh, that people would like to hear about so if you have any you know video requests or anything like that just uh, let me know in the comments and uh, I'm just really really thankful to have you know a lot of new people that are watching um, it's always great when you're you know making content to know that there are people out there that enjoy it and you know hopefully um, you know can learn something from it and hopefully maybe somebody else will watch this and 
possibly be inspired enough to start their own channel because that's that's really what we're we're hoping to do guys in this community is just have a lot of fun show off what we have you know hopefully learn a few things along the way and just have a good time with everything so that's all i've got for today guys so hope you enjoyed the rummage and i'll talk to you later